human papillomavirus infection also known as HPV. There are many kinds of HPV. The number could be more than 100. This is a virus that causes skin infection and infection in the mucous membrane. The other kinds of HPV could be responsible for causing cancer as well. This is a contagious disease and could be transmitted from one person to the other through sexual contact as well. In fact, in countries like Canada this is the most commonly sexually transmitted disease. The HPV are not generally harmful in case it is not leading to cancer but could be embarrassing at the same time. The HPV is classified as the low-risk one in the high-risk HPV. The bifurcation would depend upon the fact if these are just causing infection or these would end up causing cancer. A person affected by HPV would have skin warts, genital warts, cervical dysplasia, and cervical cancer. The major cause of the HVP is the breakthrough through the skin. It would get to the skin and would multiply and start to affect the skin. The person might not be able to know about the same for many weeks or months that he is infected with HPV. As mentioned HPV is transmitted through skin contact, using the same pool or equipments in the gym which has been used by a person infected by HPV could spread that to others as well. The expecting mother could be transmitting the same to the baby during labor. The children and the young adults are more prone to this. People who have multiple sexual partners could fall prey to HPV. Most commonly, people with the weak immune system could be caught into the HPV net. The signs and symptoms of the HPV would vary from person to person. Not only this, you might have the HPV infection for years, but there would not be any symptoms on the surface. This makes it really difficult to be detected. Though, the common symptoms would be warts around the knee, face, finger or nails. These would be painless. Flat warts, plantar warts, genital warts, cervical dysplasia or precancerous lesions could be the other symptoms. HPV is confused with many other STD and that is what would make people to run to the doctor for diagnoses. When it comes to treatment, there is no treatment for HPV as such. This is supposed to go away naturally through the body immune system. Though, the signs and the symptoms that have surfaced due to this could be put to rest with vaccine and medication. Most of the medication recommended for the HPV would be podophyllin solution which would be applied on the area affected. Warts could be removed surgically or by freezing or burning or using any other clinical method. Colposcopy could be the way of putting the cellular changes in cervical infection to rest. Biopsy could be needed in some cases.